Hi everyone, welcome back to Tutorial Thursdays! So for today's video, I'll be showing you how to add in more frames and including how your character can get a life or lose a life and also how you can link in all behaviors to one object which is a small trick on how to easily and quickly um, move on in your game. So right where we left off in the last video, we are now going to keep adding behaviors to Bob to easily track um, what is happening. Uh, to start, we're going to ensure that all the coins that Bob runs into, uh, or so-called uh, collides with, gets destroyed and plays a sound as he does so. As you can see, Bob kind of bumps a little when he goes into coin. That's because we didn't enable um, passable objects. So now you want to make sure that Bob can pass certain objects in the game. So you add in the passable platform behavior and now he can pass through those two decorative items. And now he's off the screen. But to make sure that the screen follows Bob where he goes, you go to screen behavior and you add screen follow. Now the screen will fall Bob and he can pass through objects and now he can fall and you can see him fall. So now you want to make sure that you're set to scene UI which you can see on the right side of your screen and then you select the conical flask at the bottom. From there you can select the life indicator and score and add it to the screen. It will now be stuck on the screen permanently no matter where Bob goes. And now you want to make sure that you can add behaviors to the life indicator and score. So you click on Bob when you go to behaviors and you add in the life indicator from the UI settings. Don't forget to change it to a negative one setting or the hearts will just keep going up every time he's supposed to um, lose a heart. And then you want to add a score to every time Bob touches or destroys a coin. So there we go. Ta -da. So now you want to keep adding things to the scene and to do that you have you just have to keep adding it outside of the dedicated box. So now when you add an enemy, you want to ensure that it will move on its own to spice things up a little. So you add patrol. And now you can see that he's moving but he's not destroying Bob and he's moving a bit too fast. So you want to change that frames to 5 per second. And then you add in behaviors to Bob so that all your controls are on one key person, quote unquote person. So now maybe you want to make sure that Bob will destroy the enemy once he hits it. So you have to add in the destroy object into the equation and ensure that when Bob collides with it, it will destroy. And you can see on the right the controls are edited so that only when Bob lands on top, that's when the object gets destroyed. ta -da. And now we're gonna ensure that Bob gets a life added to him when he destroys the enemy. So that's how you do it. And now it should work smoothly. And to top off this video, I will be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to get assets for our Spooktober event. Like normally, you go to the asset store and you will definitely see HyperPets October 2020. You click on it and you download assets and it's complete. And now you have all the special assets we had made specially for you for Spooktober. And here is the sample game I made using the assets and the skills I just talked about in the last two videos. It is super easy and I know for sure you guys definitely can do it too. 
if you're in it for fun do just tag us on instagram and you'll be entered into a raffle draw where you can stand to win some amazing prizes like a hyperpad hoodie some stickers or just a special feature but if you're in it to win it we definitely have awesome prizes like beats headphones hoodies shirts stickers and even um special features so do put in your best effort and don't forget uh to hashtag spooktober and tag us thank you Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll be seeing you next week with even more complicated requests.